Hey, I'm Nancy Croshar, the City Engineer and Public Works Director for the City of Oregon City. Today we're going to be talking about sustainability in public works infrastructure projects. This is particularly well exemplified in our most recently completed Beaver Creek Road Improvement Project. We have an obligation to create cities that are livable for people to live in, work in, and play in. City governments have the responsibility to design sustainable projects that maximize public dollars, the investment they're making in the projects, while also protecting the environment. In Oregon City, for example, the public right-of-way, parks, and open spaces constitutes about 25% of our land area. This is not only a significant real estate asset, but our opportunity to positively impact the community by providing public infrastructure that improves quality of life. Great infrastructure is sustainable infrastructure and great local governments deliver sustainable infrastructure. The government enacts public policies in regards to land use and infrastructure to make it a place for people to live. These policies greatly impact the livability and affordability of a community. The more livable and affordable, the more sustainable the community is. Oregon City's Beaver Creek Road project cost $4.1 million. We improved about a half a mile of a major arterial we provided bike lanes and sidewalks on both sides. We provided median and curbside landscaping. And we replaced a 75-year-old steel water transmission pipe with new 20-inch ductile iron pipe. A major goal of the project was to make Beaver Creek Road more pedestrian and bicycle friendly. Deficiencies included non-existent sidewalks on the north side, deficiencies in sidewalks with many gaps on the south side. This was a huge problem because in terms of the land use, relating to the transportation system. We had apartment complexes and condominiums that wanted to walk to the shopping center right across the street or down about a quarter of a mile, and it wasn't safe. The bus stops also were deficient on Beaver Creek Road. If we're going to create a multimodal environment, we need to provide bus stops that have more than just a sign. What makes an urban area sustainable? We consider four elements to be essential. Green infrastructure, Green infrastructure refers to the ways in which natural systems are integrated into the structure of the community. A second element of sustainability in a community has to do with movement. Organisms need a constant and efficient flow of materials and energy in order to survive. The third element of sustainable urban sites has to do with social infrastructure. Communities with a healthy social infrastructure are complete communities. The fourth element of sustainable urban sites is cost. Sustainable communities are affordable communities. The Beaver Creek Road project aimed to incorporate all four elements of sustainability through a variety of design features, including rain gardens. This was considered a pilot project in which stormwater was routed through bioswales on a major arterial. Another feature we used on the Beaver Creek Road project to control pollution leaving the project site were pollution control manholes. Yet another feature were sediment traps in area inlets. A little bit more about the rain gardens. These were specifically designed to maximize infiltration and reduce overall runoff. A typical cross-section through a rain garden is comprised of several feet of gravel at the bottom of the swale. That gives a lot of space for the water to collect and have a chance to infiltrate down below the roadway. There's also check dams on the top of that gravel and that slows down the water. We planted grasses to filter some of the pollutants from the water, and trees to provide shade and beauty. One thing the city absolutely required for this project was to select low maintenance and drought resistant native plantings. These included, for example, Oregon grape, Douglas spirea, Kelsey dogwood. The mix of landscaping we selected provides year-round foliage and color. We also required the contractor to purchase the plants from local nurseries, supporting our local economy. 57 street trees were planted to provide shade to pedestrians and improve roadway aesthetics. In addition, the trees provide stormwater benefits and carbon sequestration. Some of the species that we planted included black tupelo, summit ash, and western red cedar. Continuous sidewalks were constructed along both sides of the street to encourage walking and improve public health. Of course, ADA, Americans with Disability Act, compliant curb ramps and sidewalk grading were constructed at all intersections to, to improve access for people with disabilities. 
Continuous bike lanes were constructed on both sides of the road. It really is essential to provide bicycle facilities if you're going to talk about providing multimodal transportation to a community. Improvements at the bus stops included streetscape features such as benches, trash cans, and shelters. These sorts of amenities encourage people to use alternative modes of travel such as the bus. With our new project, we estimate a 25% reduction in travel time. Clearly, that equates to a reduction in vehicle queuing, fuel consumption, and congestion. This is all about transportation system management. What we used was we used traffic signals that were interconnected, allowing for synchronization and less time sitting at a red light. We also consolidated driveways, having fewer conflicts along the roadway provides more capacity to, a, to an arterial. And third, we used flashing turn phasing on our new traffic signals. What's special about this particular kind of traffic signal is that you can go left on flashing yellow arrows rather than having to wait at a red arrow when you know it's perfectly clear to go through the intersection. A transportation system management approach we used for bicycles was to install loop detectors at the traffic signals that detect the bicycle. This is really great for bicyclists because in the past we didn't install loop detectors for the bikes and you'd approach a, an intersection with a red light and you'd wait there, wait there, wait there until a vehicle came up and triggered the vehicle loops. Given the fact that Beaver Creek Road is a major arterial in Oregon City, two travel lanes in both directions plus left turn lanes, we wanted to make sure we were providing a safe environment. We constructed medians and traffic separators wherever possible to reduce collisions. This kind of feature can reduce collisions typically by 30%. A very important element of a sustainable infrastructure project is to reduce waste and recycle and reuse materials whenever possible. On the Beaver Creek Road project, the asphalt grindings from the old pavement were used as the base underneath the new sidewalks. We went through the old aggregate that was dug up from the old roadway section and selected the material that was still clean enough to use to backfill the utility trenches. The other item that we maximized the use out of was that the basalt that they delivered to the site to construct the new retaining walls, we had leftover. Rather than disposing it, we used it in the rain gardens. There had been several retaining walls along the corridor at the beginning of the project and rather than dispose of those blocks that made up those retaining walls, we reused them right on site. We're truly leaving a legacy for future generations. The projects that we construct are expected to last 50 years, sometimes 100 years. In order to have a project that can perform that well, we have to pay close attention to quality of work and materials that meet our specifications to ensure maximum life. Thorough inspection and close construction observation were completed for the Beaver Creek Road project. We had full-time inspectors throughout the entire duration of the project. In addition, we had very thorough and extensive material testing. Reducing community impacts when you're doing a project like this really helps to make the community more livable and more successful. In order to do that, we had to stage the project so that we could allow for two directions of travel throughout the entire project. We started on one side of the road, got the sidewalk, bike lanes, two lanes, completely constructed, and then we moved to the other side and did the same. We also made sure that access to all the businesses along the corridor were open throughout the entire project. When we designed the Beaver Creek Road project, Oregon City took seriously our responsibility to improve the sustainability of our community, to build a sustainable project and not just build another road.